Gotcha. Clem. Just be careful. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem, you know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. over but AJ needs us now we got to stick together on this thing all right come on let's see if the truck's gonna go my daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up he was a mean some bitch but he taught me respect girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running, and then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's got to be out there. Now, those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's got to be something out here other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch! I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too, once. Probably had a nice job and a nice, pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. <coughs> you two've known each other a long time. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something.
Seems like you've done that before. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. Works? What I tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Not much. We should head back south. What? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry, we did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. Jane's right. We should head south. We're going to freeze to death up here. And it's the best thing for the baby. Mike? Sure, whatever. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. that back there? I expected more out of you, Clem. You know, I only want what's best for that child. How could you embarrass me like that? After all we've been through. Well, why can't we just leave tomorrow? Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. Maybe he shouldn't have. Don't you say that. 